What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we're gonna to be making a tiki cocktail called a Saturn, and this is a good one that uses gin as its base, not rum. So a lot of people go, oh, if it's not rum, it's not tiki, but I gotta say that gin has been providing, all right, a supporting role in, in, in a lot of tropical drinks for a very long time, so I personally love uh, tiki cocktails that go outside of the rum realm to create tropical flavored drinks with different spirits. Um, one of my favorites, the Laura Key, which was created by Shannon Mustafer, uses uh, uh, Rittenhouse Rye, which is 100 proof bonded rye as its base, and it is incredible. And I think that this cocktail is incredible as well. This cocktail was created by a bartender named Jay Popo Galsini in 1967, who was a talented bartender that worked at the Kona Kai in Huntington Beach, California in the 1950s and 60s. He then, um, in, he then uh, entered it into the uh, International Bartender Association's World Championships in the very same year and won. Uh, after that, it became kind of a niche drink, kind of largely forgotten until Beach Bumberry resurrected it in his 2003 book, Intoxica. So you guys should go pick up Intoxica and let's get into the cocktail. First thing we're gonna do is, actually, we're gonna do Half an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of passion fruit syrup. And the passion fruit syrup, basically what I do is I take passion fruit puree and I just mix it in a one to one ratio with two to one sugar syrup. Does that make sense? So make a simple syrup, two to one, all right? Two to one simple syrup. Then get your passion fruit puree and take your two to one simple syrup and mix it in a one to one ratio with passion fruit. And there you have passion fruit syrup. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do just a quarter of an ounce of orsha, which is uh, almond liqueur. Half, a uh, quarter of an ounce, sorry, quarter of an ounce of a velvet falernum that we're using the John D. Taylors. You can make your own. I would like to get into it soon. And then an ounce and a half of gin. We're using beef eater. You want it to be nice like a London dry gin. You don't want it to be like too, you don't want it to be too, like you want it to have those botanicals, you don't want it to be too botanical. Then we're just gonna add a little croche, uh, I said a croche. We're gonna add a little croche of scrushed ice, of scrushed ice. We're gonna add a croche of scrushed ice. Does that make sense to you guys? We're gonna add a skosh of, of our pebble ice, not crushed, but pebble anyway. Thank you very much. And just give it like a nice whip shake. Now I've seen this cocktail done on numerous ways. Uh, usually it's served up in a coupe, but I thought that putting it on crushed ice in a tumbler would be a very nice presentation for it. So that's what we're doing, guys. So we're just gonna give it that little whip shake. We're gonna dump it. Little whip and dump, or what, what some bartenders call a whip and dirty dump. And then we're just gonna fill up the rest with our pebble ice. I keep on wanting to call it crushed ice. It's really actually pebble ice, ice and not crushed. Pebble ice and not really crushed. There you go, nice. Need to put a nice little snow cap on there. And then what we've got is our little garnish. I put it on a pick. I like this awesome pick that I got from the Dizzy Diva, that's what she is on Instagram. You should check her out. She's got these awesome picks. So I got the skull pick. I love using a skull pick for a tropical drink. And then what I did is I did like a little, you know, because it's called the Saturn. So you got like the Luxardo cherry in the middle of like a little world and you kind of made it look a little space, spacey. And then you can just like kind of float that next to the cocktail like so. What do you think? Does it look good? It look good, right? All right, cool. Let's take a sip. Ooh, using my sippy cylinder from Surfside Sips. It's a high impact glass straw and you can accessorize with these things. That's what I love about it. Oh yeah, mm, that's good. Passion fruit. How about the passion fruit? It's really supported by the lime, just like the, the tartness of the lime is just like, it's like, yes, yes, thank you, may I have another? It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. And I, I'm telling you, like, if, if rum was in this, it would be, you know, it'd be like you find, feel more of that sweetness, but the dryness, just like the straight up dryness of the gin 
helps it sort of balance out. So you've got this like, I mean, it 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 gives a little bit of body from the from the orgia, and the falernum is obviously providing a bit of sweetness. And then you've got that um, passion fruit, but it's not overwhelming because then you've got the lime and you've got the dry gin just kind of balancing it all out. I love this. This is really awesome. I wish I had more to say about this, guys, but you know, this was uh, kind of this is kind of the what I got. I don't have a ton of history on it. I, I'm I am going to as of. Marius always gets irritated with me because I say, I'm going to do a deeper dive and I'll put it below. But then he's like, wait a minute, we've already published this video and it's already below. So as you guys are watching this, it is already below, but I'm going to do a deeper dive on this and see if I can't find out a little bit more on the history of this cocktail and maybe um, Jay Popo Galsini. He can't be such a mysterious figure. There's got to be something out there about this cocktail and him. I am going to consult my sources. And, uh, and so... If you have not decided to look at the show notes, look at them right now, and you shall be pleased. I promise that. All right. There it is, the Saturn cocktail. I'll take another little sip of it before you shoot that thumbnail because it is just so gosh darn good. And there it is. If you guys like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want to support us on Patreon, support our show, go to patreon.com slash the educated barfly. We do exclusive content there. Um, if you have subscribed to our channel, also hit the bell icon so we, you can get notifications. It helps us out. It'll help you out. It'll notify you when we release videos and that's it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy this cocktail and I will see you on another time.